In this video, I'm going to talk about navigation in SharePoint. And what I mean by that is how do I link items within my SharePoint site? And also, how do I create links between SharePoint sites and manage that? Well, SharePoint gives you uh, two main ways of doing this. The first is this left-hand links module here, and that's called the Quick Launch. And the second is this bar at the top here, and that's called the Top Links Bar. Now, the difference between these two is that the left-hand quick launch is really meant to be what's called a local navigation. So I could go anywhere within this site. This left-hand links bar would follow me everywhere. The top bar would do the same. However, if I went to a different site, this left-hand links module would be different. So if I go to team site here, for example, what you'll see is that the left-hand links module is very different because it's configured differently for this site. You can see that here. The top link bar, however, is meant to be what's called a global navigation. So this top link bar, when I configure links on it, they should be inherited by all the subsites that are, are part of this site collection. So we talked about permission inheritance earlier. This is kind of like a navigation inheritance. And similarly to permission inheritance, I can break navigation inheritance if I want. If I wanted the team site, for example, to have its own set of navigation, I could do that. And I'll show you that in a moment. Now, the local navigation here on the left is very simple and easy to use. I can just click Edit Links. I can add a link here. Now, it says drag and drop link here. I've had mixed results with this. If I, if I try, for example, to drag this link on here, it won't really work. Other link items would work if you want to drag and drop them. So usually I just create the link myself manually. Similarly, I can add a link here. Simple and easy to use. If I want to manage these centrally, I can go to Site Settings. And I can manage the Quick Launch from here. I can add new links and I can change. I can set a heading if I want to. And I could also create a navigation link within that subheading. So what you'll see here is that this link becomes nested underneath this heading. So it allows me to organize my links a little bit better. If I go back to site settings. I can manage my top link bar from here. Again, I can just change the order. It doesn't have the ability to do headings because they're all displayed in a row here, and I can add new links. But what you'll see is because the team site, for example, inherits the top link navigation, I have the ability to break that inheritance if I want to. So if I go to the top link bar on my team site, I'm not able to configure anything here, but what I can do is I can stop inheriting links. I can see that this now changes, and I could create a new link. Again, I'll just go to Google again because it's simple. And you'll see now that this link bar is different than it is on my home page, on my home site. If I wanted to re-inherit those links again, I could do that by going back to Site Settings, back to the top link bar, use links from parent. It will warn me that I'm going to lose any links that I have here. That's fine. And I've now inherited the links again. There's also a third type of navigation that you can add to your site, and this is called the Tree View. So you can see here, I can disable the quick launch if I want to, but I quite like it, so I'm going to leave it. But if I enable the tree view, I'll press OK here, you'll see just below the quick launch, it's created another set of navigation. And this navigation is dynamically created and managed by SharePoint. I can't change it to suit my own needs, but what it will do is it will link to anything that I have in my site. So if I have a documents library, it will link to that. 
if I create a calendar or you know a tasks list, for example, those will automatically appear here, appear here on the left, and I can navigate to them, and I don't have to manage that. So it's nice because it's dynamic, but it's less flexible because you can't manage it yourself.